So, you're here because you want to run Starfield, the latest game from Bethesda, on your Steam Deck. And your Steam Deck has Windows on it. I've noticed there are no videos about the Steam Deck running the Starfield on Windows. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to play Starfield on your Steam Deck Windows without any mods. I know there is a mod out there for the Steam Deck to make Starfield run on 30 frames per second stable on the Steam Deck. But, what if you don't want to run it without any mods? So there are two tricks I'm going to show you in this video to increase the performance and make it more stable on your Steam Deck. Also, I'm going to show you how the game runs on the Steam Deck Windows with every setting possible on that game. So without further ado, say, let's get started. Alright, here's my Steam Deck running Windex OS on it. So let's do the first trick that will stabilize the frame rate of Starfield much more. So let's go to the File Explorer first and then uh, wait for it to load. Go to this PC, press on Show More Options if you're on Windows 11. If you Windows 10, just go on Properties. Wait for it to load and then you need to go where it says advanced system settings. Click on that and then this menu will appear. So where it says performance here. Uh, so go to advanced first and then go to performance. Then go to settings. Uh, you need to change that. So you need to go to advance and then here you'll see virtual memory. So click on virtual memory and then you'll see this will be ticked on. So tick it off and then go to customize. Tick that on and then here you need to write 10,000 in the first one and then 11,000 in the second one. This will increase the virtual memory of paging. Somehow this helps some games such as FIFA and it showed to help Starfield. So turn this on, press OK, press OK again and apply. Then it will ask you to restart your PC for the changes to appear. So restart your PC and then let's go to the next step. You need to go to the recovery mode. So there is the button combination that you could use or you could use the settings. I like to do the settings because I don't like to restart my Steam Deck that way. So go to the settings uh, here in the system and then you need to go to where it says uh, up Windows updates and then wait for it to load and then you need to go to advanced settings and then you need to uh, scroll down until you find recovery. Click on recovery and then you need to uh, click on uh, advanced startup. So click restart now. Click restart now again and then the system will restart and I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright, so this step is very important for Windows. It's not as important on SteamOS, but on Windows you need to do this. So, now you need to go to where it says uh, troubleshoot and then you need to go to advanced options. And then you need to go where it says U U UEFI firmware settings. Click on that and wait for it to restart. Uh, click restart, so it's going to restart in a bit and show you uh, the next step. Here we are in the boot menu settings. Now you need to go to setup and utility. Use the D-pad to navigate and click A to um, go to that. And then you need to scroll down where it says um, advanced. And then you need to scroll down again until it says UMA buffer size. Click on that and make sure it's in four gigabytes. After you click on that, make sure you uh, click save and exit. So go to the exit part here and then exit saving changes. Click on that and this will change your UMA buffer into 4 gigabytes. This is very important for gaming on Windows, so make sure you do this step before you try Starfield. So now we are all ready to run Starfield. I downloaded Starfield from the Xbox Game Pass. It's available for free with the subscription. Uh, so if you want to run Starfield, you need to know that Windows will not support the controllers by itself. You need to give it a controller software. So we're going to use here Handheld Companion. Handheld Companion is an application that allows you to use the controller with additional functions such as showing the FPS and the heat management and uh, it has so many other functions. If you'd like to see a video all about it, I'll have the link for it in the description below. It's a full guide to the Handheld Companion. So anyway, the Handheld Companion is now running as you can see here and the service is running for the Handheld Companion. So what we can do now is just run Starfield and look at the performance of Starfield on Windows. Okay, so Starfield is now running on my Steam Deck as you can see here. And we have Windex, which is amazing. As you can see here, we can turn off the Steam Deck and then we can quick resume right away. If we turn it on, we'll be right in the game without any problem. So if you want to see Windex and how to install it, I'll have the link for it in the description below. So anyway, you can see the frame rate here up there thanks to Handheld Companion. We have 40 frames per second now running while we're flying the ship. As you can see here, it drops down as we move around to 30 and sometimes a bit below than that, but um, it's quite stable when you're flying the ship. This is on the low settings at the moment. Let me show you the settings right now. So if we go to the settings here and then we go to display, you'll see that the settings are all set to low and the render resolution, as you can see here, is set to 65. So let's increase the settings now for medium just to see if you fly in the ship what kind of frame rates you get with Starfield. Change the settings into medium settings. You can see here we have medium settings now are running. 
And as you can see here now, Starfield uh, frame rate has dropped to 22 to 23, and it does drop down below 20 sometimes, but uh, stable at 20, but this is not playable to be honest. The best is to run at the low settings. I'm not even gonna try the ultra settings because there is no use, it's not gonna be able to handle that. So let's land on this planet and we're gonna test the settings inside the planet just to see how Starfield runs on the Steam Deck when you're walking around. Okay, as you can see here, we landed on this planet and the frame rate right now, as you can see, is 25 frames per second. Let's get out of the ship and then we'll see how the frame rate changes um, when we go outside in the planet. Okay, so inside the ship now, as you can see here, it's 30 frames per second because this is a small environment. We are now on low settings, as you can see. So let's go down uh, outside of the ship into the planet and see what the frame rate will show then so here we are inside the planet as you can see here the frame rate is around 30 frames per second but there is no action going on at all we're jumping around the environment looks nice to be honest the low settings are not so bad to run the game at as you can see here there's no gravity at this region i'm going to try to get to this building just to see how the frame rate changes when there are new objects as you can see here the frame rate at the top of the screen we have uh, fluctuating between 30 frames per second and sometimes to 20 frames 26 frames per second so this is not ideal but it's doable it's uh, actually playable this is without the mod there is a mod out there i'll make a video about it to show you if it runs better with the mod so let's get there and then we're gonna start to change the settings just to see how it affects it so as you can see here we have a slight frame drop to 16 frames per second because there is a lot of objects loading and then after the objects are loaded as you can see here we have around 27 frames per second which is not entirely bad but it's not the best out there to be honest with you so uh, we're gonna change it now to medium settings just to see how it runs when it's medium settings display settings here and then into uh, medium settings on the same uh, render resolution we can stay at 65 uh, so custom here uh, sorry this is medium and we can stay at 65 because that's how the game is playable below 65 it doesn't really look that good it looks too grainy so that's 65 here and then we have medium settings running now as you can see here we have 20 to 25 fps the game is a bit laggy you can't really play it it's not really playable as much as the low settings you can play with the settings and customize them you can have some stuff at medium and some stuff at low but uh, all the settings at low settings is the best way to go uh, we're gonna push it a little bit and go to the high settings here just to see how it runs with the high settings so if we go to settings and then display and then we go to uh, the high settings here uh, again so we have high settings here with the 62 uh, 65 sorry um, render resolution and as you can see here the frame rate dropped to 15 to 16 frames per second that means it could drop all the way down to 10 while you're playing so it's not really ideal so the best way for you to play is to go to seven uh, to the lowest settings possible uh, so let's just get back to the lowest settings possible here and then go back to 65 you can push it to 70 sometimes and still not bad so this is now 65 as you can see here we the frame rate is going back up to 30 to 28 sometimes to 26 frames but it's not so bad it's, it's actually playable i've been in fighting scenes and it goes to 25 but it doesn't go below 25 which is quite amazing so this is not so bad uh when you're shooting the gun and if there is a lot of enemies it goes back to 25 but that's the lowest it could go so that's it for me guys if you have any questions about this please leave a comment below so i can answer your questions i'm gonna ask you one thing if you are interested please follow my instagram account my old page has got deleted which has 6,000 followers and now we have 20 uh, followers uh, so if you are interested in seeing short form content subscribe to my instagram and give a like to one of the posts i would really really appreciate it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel subscribe and peace